So I am here in Denman Estate Park for my geography in my backyard project. Uh, we're gonna go through some natural processes that are found here in the park. And um, yeah. So here we have a couple examples of um, some weathering. Uh, as you can see, there's pockets of water here, which I can only assume uh, is sinking down into the rock because of physical weathering that's already taken place uh, due to other rainfall. Uh, we have some, I don't know if that's algae or moss uh, growing on the outside of this rock, and uh, that would also be uh, biological weathering. Uh, that's another example here. This here, I believe, is limestone. Um, again, you can see we have algae, or what appears to be moss growing on the outside, this little green spots you see. You can also see that the, uh, the, the rock here has been weathered uh, clearly by water, uh, rainfall perhaps, or maybe um, from this stream. I believe this is a small stream here that leads into this pond. Um, I'm guessing the water here travels downward under this bridge, um, you know, when it rains. Uh, then you also have little pipes here, so I'm, I'm guessing some of this is man-made. Pond itself, I believe, is man-made, so I'm not sure how accurate a, uh, a depiction of a stream this is. Um, I'm supposing you could refer to this as an ephemeral stream that is only holding water when, uh, you know, shortly after it rains. So here I am standing in what appears to be an ephemeral stream. Um, as you can see, there's no water here right now. Um, this looks like the type of spot that really only fills up with water uh, shortly after it rains, probably not long after that. Um, that's what we would refer to, refer to as an ephemeral stream. Uh, pretty dry right now, but we can see some evidence of weathering here. You can see um, some biological weathering uh, as the tree roots here are clearly cutting through the rock. I mean everywhere right here. I and mean, some of it you can see is very brittle. Um, and we see examples of mass wasting, uh, impending uh, mass wasting with the rocks that are about to fall here. And then you can see all these rocks that have, that have fallen down. Um, you know, there's some more in the bed here. And this will probably just continue, uh, you know, as it rains and as, just as time progresses to, um, to weather this rock and just, until most of it just falls right off here into the bed of the stream. Here you can even see plants, go, uh, little tinier plants growing through here. I believe we may have some chemical, some type of chemical reaction. Uh, again, I'm not sure exactly what type of rock this is. I'm gonna assume that it's, Limestone, um, and I believe we're seeing signs here of uh, of carbonation with the uh, with the coloration that, that's pretty evident here uh, that the the rock is reacting and, and changing. Most of it is white and powdery. It looks like if I just touched it, it would it would just kind of break away pretty easily. Um, again, you can see the tree roots growing through the rock causing more and more mass wasting. I mean, we got just rocks falling everywhere here. Holes, as you can see, uh, which I believe are evidence of carbonation. And of course, uh, you know, carbonation is the carbonic acid in rainwater um, breaking down the rock. Here, this is an example of what we what we considered a nick point, uh, being that the, the rock, sedimentary rock that makes up 
this this rock wall here is weathering clearly uh, differently. You know, up top it's jutted out a bit, and you can see that it's eaten into here. It's clearly, it's eroding here faster, which will eventually cause this you know this to come down. Here yet again, more examples of the uh, the tree roots coming through the rock. Overhead shot of the stream. It's kind of hard to make out the indentations. As you can see it goes a little deeper here. But again, it is all dried up. Being that it is an ephemeral stream. Again, um, evidence of carbonation in the limestone. Um, you can see the holes here and the, and the coloration caused by the acids in the rainwater. And here, some more evidence of carbonation from the carbonic acid going into the limestone. So we had a couple um, examples of the, uh, the processes that we saw in class. We had uh, we saw an ephemeral stream, physical weathering, uh, what I believe to be chemical weathering, um, biological weathering for sure, tons of it, uh, mass wasting, carbonation, I think that was it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and um, yeah, bye-bye.